Hello, and in this screencast for Apache ISIS, I want to talk about some of the different types of validation rules that you can put into your domain objects. And so the first is actually part of the uh, simple app applica uh, application itself. So if I go to one of my domain objects and I try to change the name of the object and I put some exclamation marks in there, you'll see that that's not allowed, whereas if I were to put in some other value that would be allowed. And this is coming from this supporting validate name uh, method for the uh, name property. And you can see that the rule here is that if the name contains an exclamation mark, then we, we return a non-null value. Uh, otherwise, um, null means that the value is OK. So that's one type of rule, validation of um, proposed uh, values of properties or indeed action parameters. Another type of rule that I can put in is uh, demonstrated here with this uh, disable supporting method for the delete action. And so in this case what I'm saying is um, I, I'm delegating off to an injected simple object service uh, and if there's only one object left I'm basically returning a similar fashion a string to say that the last object can't be deleted so to demonstrate this this is the second to last object I can delete this guy but now I'm down to a single object and if I try to delete this you can see that's not allowed and then there's quite a similar uh, rule as well that I can uh, implement where if I change this to say hide instead of disable and return it returning a boolean instead um, then that will basically hide the action instead of uh, merely greying it out or disabling it. So uh, let's try this and start the application again. And let's now log into the application. And so we've got no objects because we started again. Uh, the default setup is to use an in-memory database, so we have no data. Let's run a fixture script to create some objects. Let's delete this first object. Let's delete this second object. And if we go to the last object, we can see that the delete action has, has disappeared. And if I were to create one object, then we can see the delete uh, action has reappeared. So those are the three different types of business rule you can implement. Uh, you can hide, um, you can disable, or you can validate. And I always like to try to remember that as uh, see it, use it, do it. Can I see the member? Can I use the member? And if so, is the value I'm proposing uh, valid? So I can actually go ahead and do it. Okay, I hope that made sense. As usual, uh, give it a go, try it out. Thanks.